This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Vanessa Villaforte with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. Nearly 60% of Americans now have antibodies from getting COVID, many of them because of Omicron. The CDC says during the Omicron surge this winter, the percent of Americans infected with COVID saw a significant increase with the biggest increases seen in kids and teens. The study showed nearly 75% of kids under 18 have antibodies from the virus. Unfortunately, experts say they still don't know how long infection induced immunity will last, which is why it's important to get vaccinated and boosted. Lunch with the Oracle of Omaha. If that sounds cool to you, you better get your money ready. Warren Buffett plans to auction off a charity lunch one final time to raise money for the homeless. He says it will be the last time to bid on what's likely to be the world's most expensive lunch. In fact, every winning bid since 2008 has topped $1 million. And on 3 News Now, meteorologist Chris Swaim. Upper 40s tonight, mainly clear and not as cold. Winds out of the south, 5 to up to 20 miles per hour. This is a much warmer start than the 20s we had early Tuesday morning. Here's a look at Wednesday's highs back in the mid-70s. Cloud cover returns and so does the wind. After a short break and much needed at that, it does stay breezy through most of the week ahead. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. 70s in the short term, but gradually getting cooler into Friday. That's when our storm chances ramp up. Talking lightning and thunder, the potential for these to be on the strong, the even severe side is there. Still a lot of details to be worked out. Mid 60s on Saturday, Sunday into Monday. An isolated chance for rain with cloudy skies and temperatures at 67 by Tuesday.